Good day everyone! I'm Marvin Enriquez, your subject teacher for Probability and Statistics. Our topic for this video lesson and it's about determining probabilities under normal curve. Our lesson objectives, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to find areas between paired C scores. Find probabilities for the standard normal random variable C and express areas under the normal curve using probability notation. For our lesson introduction, the standard normal distribution is a normal distribution with your population mean which is equal to 0 and your population standard deviation which is equal to 1. One of the properties of our normal distribution or normal curve should I say that your mean, your median, and mode will go inside at your center. That's why your population mean here is equal to zero, and your uh, and your population standard deviation is equal to one. So you need to take note of this. Dealing with your standard normal distribution. You are dealing with a population mean which is equal to 0 and your standard deviation which is equal to 1. A random variable with a standard normal distribution denoted by x, so we simply use letter x to represent the random variable with a standard normal distribution, is called a standard normal random variable. So if you're dealing with a random variable with a standard normal distribution, you simply use your x to represent your random variable or variables. And these variables are called your standard normal random variables. For our next statement, probabilities associated with the standard normal random variables can be shown as areas under the standard normal curve. So dealing with your standard normal curve or whatever the areas under your standard normal curve are simply equal to the probabilities under your probability distribution. That's why dealing with your table, we always check if the total or sum of your probabilities under the table is equal to 1. Because that one is simply the total area of your normal curve. So we can say that probabilities are equal to areas when you are dealing with your standard normal curve. For our discussion points, probability notations under the normal curve. The following notations for a random variable are used in our various solution concerning the normal curve. Your P of A less than your C less than your B when your A is less than C and your C is less than B denotes the probability that the C score is between A and B. So you need to take note of this. Your A and B now are C score values. If your C score that you compute, for example, will fall in between your A and B, then we can rewrite this one using your notation, your P of a less than your C and your C is less than your B. If your computed value of C will fall on the two values of your C score. So this will be your lower limit here. That will be your A and your upper limit is your B. So if your C score will fall in between your A and B, so this will be your notation. Now, for the second notation, your P of C is greater than A. A is a score value. So if we set that A is a lower limit, now, now if that 
is the case when your C or your computed value of C is greater than your lower limit, then it denotes the probability that C score is greater than A. So this will be your notation now. If the probability that the C score is greater than A. Now, what if if your C score is less than A? Now, dealing with your last notation, this will be your P of C less than A when it denotes that the probability that the C score is less than A. So we simply use this symbol less than to represent the probability that the C score is less than A. Same thing with your greater than here. And your C score in your first notation, which is in between your A and B. Now, where A and B are C score values. So there are three things that we need to consider this in this one. If your if your C will fall in between your A and B, where your A and B are C score values, then if your C is greater than your A, then and last that will be your C if your C is less than your A. So that's how we deal with your probability notations under the normal curve. So if we're, if we're asked to rewrite this one into a notation, this will be our pattern, or pattern, should I say. So as part of the continuation of your discussion points, here we have your modified steps in determining areas under the normal curve. So your first step here is that if you have your cardboard at your side, you can use it and use a cardboard model to draw a normal curve. So using your cardboard, you're asked to draw a normal curve. For in step number two, locate the given C value or values at this baseline. So you need to uh, follow that there are only six C scores allowed in every normal curve. Three negative C scores and three positive C scores. So you need to check those numbers because you cannot exceed to that number. Again, there are only six C scores allowed in every normal curve. For step number three, draw a vertical line through these values. So for example, if your C is equal to 1, then you need to draw for uh, a vertical line that will be mapped to your C, which is equal to 1, for us to see the area that we're going to consider from 0 to 1. So from the center of your normal curve going to the vertical line that we map to your C, which is equal to 1, so that will be the area from 0 to 1. So that's why we need to put a vertical line there. For number 4, shade the required region. Find models, if any. So after putting a vertical line, so you can set now your uh, starting point going to the last part that we're going to consider. No? So from 0 to 1, you're going to shade the required region. So what will be the required region now? So using your C table, you can identify or you can determine what is the required region from your 0 to 1 as your C score. For number 5, consult the C table to find the areas that correspond to the given C value or values. That's why if your C is equal to 1, so what will be the value of your area based from your C table? So for example, if your C is equal to 1 from, from your C table, your area is 0 0.3413. Mean let's say that 0 0.3413 is your required region from 0 to 1. 
For number 6, examine the graph and use probability notation to form an equation showing an appropriate operation to get the required area. So in finding though, there are three notations that we're done dealing with with our previous slide. If your C will fall in between your A and B, if your C is greater than A, if your C is less than your A. So that will be your pattern for this step number six. For number seven, make a statement indicating the required area. So what will be your statement based on your graph? So your statement will be based on your graph. So showing or explaining what happened to your graph following uh, the concept of the probability notation. So in making your statement, you need to consider your required area. And if your C will fall in between your A and B, if your C is greater than your A, or your C is less than your A. So those are the those are the things that we need to consider. So for example number one, so find the proportion of the area above your C is equal to negative one. So what are the numbers which are greater than negative one? So from your table or from your graph or from your normal curve here, no, zero is greater than negative one. When you say the area that we need to consider here will start from negative one to the rightmost part of your normal curve. Why? Because there is a one here, positive one. Then here, there is a positive 2. Then here, there is a positive 3. 0, one, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. These are numbers that are greater than negative 1. So if we're asked to find the proportion of the area above, so you need to take note of this above. So there is a word or a keyword here above. C is equal to negative 1. So we're asked to find the proportion of the area which is above or we need to consider the area, those areas no, that will be mapped to all C values which is above your negative 1. Now, if we're looking for the value of the area for your C which is equal to negative 1, so we're just simply looking for a value for the area that we're going to uh, that we can map if your c is a positive one so is it the same area from zero to one and zero to negative one yes it is no so using your table so if there is no negative one there so you can look for a positive one so whatever your area from zero to one that will be your area from zero to negative one now since there is an above word dito, this will be your keyword, above. So, we're going to consider now those C score which is above negative 1. So, what will be the, the area that will be mapped to those C scores which are above negative 1? So, we're going to consider this area from negative 1 to the rightmost part of your normal curve. Now, for number five, consult the C table and find the area that corresponds to C is equal to negative one. So there is a C table that there is no negative sign there. But again, no, whatever your area between your zero and positive one is the value of your C. It's the same area from your 0 and negative 1. That's why if we're looking for the value of the area that, will, that we can map to your C, which is equal to negative 1, then we can look for the value of the area that we can map to your positive 1. 
So that will be 0 0.3413. So this will be the area from this one. So from 0 to negative 1, so this will be your area. So that will be 0.3413 from 0 to negative 1. From our previous visual lesson, we said that your total area of your normal curve is equal to 1. So I mean to say, if we cut this uh, normal curve into two equal parts, so this part is equal to 0 0.5. And the same thing with your negative part. So that will be 0 0.5. Now, from your step number 6, examine the graph and use probability notation to form an equation showing the appropriate operation to get the required area. Now, the graph suggests addition. Why? Because we are required, we are asked to find the required area which are above your C which is equal to negative 1. So what is the total area or the proportion of the area when we're dealing with the area that, can, that we can map to those C value or values that are greater than negative 1? Therefore, the required area is equal to 0 0.3413. So this area is from your 0 or between your 0 and negative 1. So your 0.5 here is your area to your right side of your normal curve. So if we cut your normal curve into two equal parts, so that will be 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. 0 0.5 as your area to your negative five, uh, part, I mean, and 0 0.5 to your positive part of your normal curve. Now, what will be your probability notation? Since we are asked to find the proportion of the area above C, which is equal to negative 1, then the area or the proportion, I mean, or the probability notation is that your P of C greater than negative 1 is equal to 0 0.3413 plus 0.5 or simply equal to 0 0.813. So that will be the proportion of the area above your C, which is equal to negative 1 now. Why? So you need to look for this. This will be above. So if you try to uh, assess the symbol here, that will be greater than because your keyword in this problem is above your C, which is equal to negative 1. For number seven, step number seven, make a statement indicating the required area. So therefore, the proportion of the area above is 0 0.8413. So that will be your final answer now. So for example, number two, we're asked to find the area to the left of C is equal to negative 1.5. Meaning to say, there is a keyword here, which is left to the left of your C, is equal to negative 1.5. Now, if you try to look with the graph of your normal curve here, as you can see, we're considering the area to the left of your negative 1.5. So not the area at the right of your negative 1.5. So we are considering here your area at the left of your negative 1.5. Now, using your C table, using your C table, and to find the area that corresponds to your C, which is equal to negative 1.5. So again, whatever your area between your 1.5, positive 1.5 and 0, so the same area with your 0 to negative 1.5. So using your C table, your C is equal to 1.5.
So that 1.5 as, as your C score will be mapped to the area which is equal to 0 0.332. So that will be the area for your C which is equal to 1.5. Now, so this will be your area for your C which is equal to 1.5. So if we try to shade this 0 0.332 on your graph, so we're going to shade lang this portion. So this portion, so this will be your area for 0 0.332. So that will be your area for C is equal to negative 1.5. So that will be the area from your 0 to negative 1.5. Now, we're asked to find the area to the left. So how can we compute this area if your area from your 0 to negative 1.5 is equal to 0 0.4332? Now again, if we cut your normal curve into two equal parts, going from your center to the rightmost part of your normal curve, so if we consider those areas, so that will be equal to 0.5, and those area go from your center going to the leftmost part of your normal curve, so that will be 0.5. Now, if the total area from this region is equal to 0 0.5, what will be the area now that we can map to the shaded region? So that will be the question now. For number six, Examine the graph and use the probability notation to form an equation showing the appropriate operation to get the required area. So the graph suggests subtraction. Why? Because we need to subtract your area from your C, which is equal to negative, uh, uh, negative 1.5, and it provides you an area which is equal to 0 0.4332. So we need to subtract this 0 0.4332 to your 0.5 as the total area of the half of your normal curve. So the required area is equal to 0 0.5. So that will be the area uh, from the negative part of your normal curve minus the area no, of the shaded region from your 0 to negative 1.5. So this will be your area from your 0 to negative 1.5. So your resulting value is 0 .0, 0 0.0668. That is, so since we consider the area to the left, so we're going to use the symbol here, less than. Why is that we use the symbol less than? Because all values from this shaded region, from this shaded region, as you can see in this graph, from this shaded region on your, on your graph or on your normal curve, should I say, those C values under that region is less than negative 1.5. That's why we use a symbol here, less than, and your probability notation that we can map to this example is that your P of C is less than negative 1.5. is equal to 0 0.5 minus your 0 0.4332. So this will be, again, your area from 0 to negative 1.5. Now, so that will be equal to 0 0.0668. Now, make a statement indicating the required area. So the proportion of the area to the left of your C is equal to negative 1.5 is simply equal to your resulting value here once we subtract your area from 0 to negative 1.5 to the total area of your negative part of your normal curve, which is 0.5, then that will be the proportion of the area to the left of your C, which is equal to negative uh, 1.5. So our final answer is 0 0.0668. So that will be the, the proportion of the area to the left of your C, which is equal to negative 1.5. So for example, number 3, we're asked to find the area between your C, which is equal to negative 2, 
and your C is equal to negative 1.5. So let's just draw first your normal curve, then locate the C value, draw a line through the C value, and shade the required region. So we're asked to find the proportion of the area between your C, which is equal to negative 2, and your C is equal to negative 1.5. So if we try to assess these two C values here, so they are both negative values. Therefore, this C or these two C scores will fall on the negative part of your normal curve. Now, what will be the area in between your negative 2 and negative 1.5? So again, going to your step number 5, we're going to use your C table for us to find the area that we can map to your negative 2 and negative 1.5. It's the same or the, the area that we can get from your positive 2 and positive 1.5 as your C-score is the same area that we can map to your negative 2 and negative 1.5. So using your C table, if your C is negative 2, then your area is 0.4772. Now, if your C is negative 1.5, then your area is equal to 0.4332. How we can get now the area between your negative 2 and negative 1.5? So we need to examine the graph and use probability notation to form an equation showing the appropriate operation to get the required area. Now, if we try to look at your graph or in your normal curve, no? so this area from 0 to negative 1.5, so this will be your uh, 0 0.4332. So your area from negative 2 to 0 will be equal to your point 4772. So that will be our area. So how can we solve for the value of this shaded region in your normal curve? So by simply uh, subtract, uh, subtracting no, your area from your negative 1.5 to your area from your negative 2, so that will be the required region that we need to consider for this example number 3. So the required area is equal to, so your area from your C, which is equal to negative 2, minus your area from your negative 1.5, that is no, your probability notation. So since your negative 2 here is less than your negative 1.5, Therefore, your negative 2 here is your upper limit and your negative 1.5 here is your, uh, I mean, your negative 2 is your lower limit and your negative 1.5 here is your upper limit. So, in this probability notation, so we need to put first your lower limit, which is your negative 2, then your upper limit, which is your negative 1.5. So we assume that your C value will fall in between your negative 2 and negative 1.5. So And it should be greater than negative 2 and less than negative 1.5 because we assume that your C value will fall in between your negative 2 and negative 1.5. Again, if we assume that your C will fall in between your negative 2 and negative 1.5, then that C should be greater than negative 2 and less than negative 1.5. That's why we're using this probability notation to represent the proportion area between your C, which is equal to negative 2, and your negative 1.5. That's why your probability of negative 2 here is less than your C and less than negative 1.5. Now, same process. So if we subtract your area from your negative 1.5 to the area from your negative 2, so that will be equal to 0 0.0440. So 
So from that uh, resulting value, so make a statement indicating the required area. So the required area, the area between your C, which is equal to negative 2, and your C is equal to negative 1.5. So that will be equal to 0 0.0440. 0. So this will be your area of your shaded region in between your C is equal to negative 1.5 and your C, which is equal to negative 2. So for your activity, you're asked to find the area between. So there is a key word here between from your negative 1.32 and c which is equal to positive 2.37 so you're going to complete the table below so your negative 1.32 here will fall at the negative part of your normal curve and this positive 2.37 will fall at the positive part of your normal curve so you need to follow the seven steps and for for you to complete the table so you need to follow your step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4, up to step 7. So from drawing your normal curve up to making a statement indicating the required area. So there's a keyword here, between, so you know how to deal with your probability notation. So for activity number 2, determine each of the following areas and show this graphically. Use probability notation in your final answer. So you're going to graph and you need to find or to determine the areas and show this graphically. So you need to show how can you graph this one above your C is equal to negative I positive 1.46 and what will be the probability to uh, probability notation that we can map in each number here from 1 to 5. So you need to show the area and show it graphically and find the probability notation. So you, know, you don't need to compute for the required area here. You just simply determine each of the following areas and show this graphically. So you need to show this graphically lang. So you're not asked to compute for the value of your area, for example, between or below or above, but you need to show this, ano, uh, this graphically and you need to shade the required region plus what will be the probability notation that we can use for this one for this scenario. So that will be the case without solving for the required area. So for your activity number two, you don't need to use your C-table because you're not asked to solve for the value of the required region. But you're asked to graph this required region using your normal curve and provide what will be the right uh, probability notation that we, we can map in these five uh, scenarios that we're dealing with your activity number two. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.